Tra ta 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 we're gonna be tackling the Lost Woods to get serious on. Hey, over here, hoo hoo. Bruv, good to see you again. Listen to this, hoo hoo. Oh, what did you say? I didn't hear what you said, buddy. No, I don't want to hear what you said again. If you're courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. All right, so basically what you have to do is, there are a bunch of entrances, some will send you back. That's why it's called the Lost Woods. So, you gotta listen to where the music coming from. You can kind of tell which areas are walkable through. You see how that trail is off? That exits to a, like a, a movement screen. These just black ones go to like somewhere else in this Lost Woods area. I do know the path pretty well. Yeah. So, I know pretty much exactly where to go. Yeah. I'm cool at video games and stuff. And then we have to fight a wolf house. Here he is, look at this dude. Oh, you're gonna swipe me? Ooh, got wrecked. And the gate opens. So there are a bunch of Deku scrubs in here, basically. Uh, you were supposed to kill them, but I'm just gonna dodge them because I really don't want to waste my time on them. Stop. Okay, guys, there's a dog in here. Ignore her. She's gonna do her dog things. Uh, she might make a lot of noise, but, uh, hopefully not, hopefully not, uh, jeez, these guys are annoying. Go. Go. Alright, so we can get our first fairy up here, this ladder. Right here. Uh, we're gonna try to speed through this area so we can at least get to the start of the Dongo's Cavern, or at least open it up. So in the next episode, we can tackle that. That's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Alright, so here we are. Fairy's Fountain. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bottle ready. Um, we can hold on to the lawn lawn milk. Uh, but we do have a fairy in a bottle now. Uh, I will get what little hearts I have lost healed up again. And we're gonna continue on to Serious Song. Uh, so this is the first video that I'm doing with my new editing software. That is free. So it'll probably be in the description. Uh, from now on. Not in this video, but maybe. Uh, but, uh, that new free editing software is gonna be down there, so you can use that, and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun for you. Uh, fun fact, It's Rick told me about it, so go ahead and, uh, I'm shouting him out here. Go check him out. He's pretty cool. Uh, we go to the same school. He goes to book tea with me. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty zesty, if I do say so myself. Um, but here we are. Hi. This is awkward. I've been waiting for you, bruv. This is the sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Serious song. The swiftiest song in all of Zelda. Great, great. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Serious Song. You can talk with me anytime. You've learned a Serious Song. All right, so that is Serious Song. Uh, this is, of course, the location of the Forest Temple. You can see it right up there. 
I need the hookshot to get up there, which we will do in this playthrough, because we're beating the freaking game, boys. We're beating the freaking game. Uh, we're gonna try to beat it 100%, like, bottle-wise, and with, uh, getting all the items-wise. That includes the ice arrows, so we're gonna get that one eventually. I hear a dog. Is that my dog? Better not be my dog. Uh, there is a- uh, I didn't need to talk to you. Can I look? Alright. So, there is a Skulltula on this wall at nighttime, but we can't get it without the, uh, Either the boomerang or the hookshot, you'll most likely get it with the hookshot. Just because you have to come here for the forest temple, which is the first temple you use the hookshot in. And uh, you don't have the boomerang at this point, so it's just nonsense to backtrack. We're back in Goron City, so we're gonna head to use the Sarius song on Mr. Durga. Yeah. And that'll be, uh, that'll be that. All right, buddy. Tis a load of this. Ah, wait, hang on, give me a second. Yeah, how about that? My ocarina skills just got better as I played those first six notes, but here we go. Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire, too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you on that just that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving it to you just in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. And we have the Grand's bracelet, which allows us to do two things. Open the Dodongo's cavern, and get a piece of heart, which we are going to do. Actually, we're going to get two pieces of heart with this Goron's bracelet. The first one, right now. And I will cut to it right now because I'm an editing whiz with this new software. Okay, so what you got to do is you got to take your bomb flower. You got to throw it in the jar. And we can do this now. Oh, I did. Uh, mm, I didn't get damaged by it. That's very interesting. Okay, I'll be right back. I fell. Okay, I'm back again, so... I'm gonna do this with less suck, which I have copious amounts of. Oosh. Yeah. Alright, so if it gets to the happy face, I get the piece of heart. If it's not, then who cares? It's not important. It's not a piece of heart. So first try. First try, come on. So close. I got the meh face, which doesn't give us anything. Uh, but we will continue. We will continue indeed. So I'll be right back once I get this. I missed. Come on, come on. It's basically virtually luck. I am. Oh my god, why? Oh my god. Can we just do a compilation of every time I miss? God. Yeah, I'm gonna do a compilation of every single time that I miss this shot. Yes! Okay. Here we go, boys. This is it. Come on. Do it! Do it! Yes! Alright, guys. We just got it. And there it is, the piece of heart. Took a very long time. At least three minutes. But we have hit maximum rupees. So now we're gonna go get the second piece of heart and open the Dungo's Cavern, and that will end the episode there. So, let's go do that. Alright, so basically what you want to do is you want to go right after leaving Dodongo's cavern. And there is this big dude. Basically, you pick up this bonfire, you throw it right down. And that opens the cavern. Right there. You will see soon. Boo! 
Boom! There it is. The temple. Or a dungeon. Whatever you call it. What are the child games called? I know the adult ones are dungeons, but basically you gotta throw that bomb so you can be able to backflip off to this thing. And you can pick up the piece of art right there. So, that is three pieces of art so far. The next one will give us a heart container, but let's go ahead and head into Dodongo's cavern. Go ahead and open this up here. I'm not gonna do the temple, just, yeah, get it started. Get my little scenic shot of the dungeon. Boom. Dodongo's cavern. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it entertaining, and we will pick up into Dungo's Cavern in the next episode. So, I'll see you then. Bye guys, I really butchered my intro just now, jeez. <laughs> Goodbye, that's what I meant to say.